Scott Bywood here, and I want to talk about complex funnels um, because what what you often see when you see funnels sort of laid out is you see all these boxes and these boxes are sort of going you know going everywhere and all over the place sort of thing. So, and yes, eventually you want to move towards that, but where you want to really start is with a simple sort of funnel structure because if you don't get stay if you don't get the first step to work then all of the other stuff doesn't really matter. And I really like the lean startup sort of methodology. And if you haven't read the book, it's highly worth reading you know, when it comes to funnels. So start lean, start with just one you know, little, you know, start with just, just one little part of the funnel. You could start with you know, an ad, a squeeze page, which can be just like a, you know, a headline providing you've got a good one, which then leads people across to you know an offer, where you make might make an offer for a um, for a low 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 price sort of product. Um, so so then because then what you can do is if you can get that stage to work, think of each stage of a of a funnel as a piece of Lego. So you get stage one to work, well then you can add another piece of Lego stage two, and then another piece of Lego stage three, and you just keep adding these little pieces of Lego to add to your funnel, you know your funnel matrix if you like. And uh, yeah, so, that, so, that, so that's all for today. Keep it simple to start with and then add little pieces of Lego as you go along. To help you get more customers, I'm giving away a free gift to everyone who watches this video. It's a brand new guide called Seven Ways to Get More Traffic and Customers, which includes a swag of cheat sheets for getting results fast. Download it for free by clicking the link in the description below this video or visiting moretrafficandcustomers.com.